you know, you got to tend to your garden daily. And if you don't see your mind as such, then you maybe have never paid attention to what was growing in your mind until it grew too big in your mind. Man, I let something grow in my mind one time so it got to the point where I had to go do something about it. That shit had got so big that I completely forgot all this shit was in my mind. I, it was, <laughs> it, it, it might have well been real. I drop a one in the comments so I don't feel alone. Have you ever? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever allowed something to grow in your mind till it got so big that you forgot it was all just in your mind? You got to manage your mind. If not, it's going to take you places you don't need to be. Your mind is a garden. That's where it is. <laughs> and you must tend to it daily. If not, things are going to grow that you do not intend and want to be in your garden. There's conversations, there's thoughts that often leave what we'll identify as debris and seeds. Some of them debris, some of them seeds in the field of your mind. Depending on how big you think, your mind might be a garden, a field, a forest, some shit. Something like that. Some of your minds need to expand so it can go from, from a garden to a field. Be it as it may, this debris and these seeds, if not given, if not cleared, will grow. They'll take root if they're seeds. If it's debris, it's going to cover up the ground, the soil, the potential, the harvester. You see what I'm saying? So either these things that don't need to be there are taking root and causing life that and causing a counterproductive energy or they're covering up, getting in the way of things that you need to see clearly. When there's lack of clarity, there's often clutter. <laughs> so wherever you see a lack of clarity, clean the clutter. Move some things out of the way so you can see clearly. The wonderful thing about a rape is that it's designed to move away whatever is not rooted. Just like the storms in your life and the wind that blows from the storms in your life or the rain that comes and washes away everything, it's there to move away whatever's not rooted. How they say whatever ain't tied down, right? You got to. You got to rake your, 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 your yard, man. Your garden, your field. You got to clear that passage pa passageway for you to walk now. So there's thoughts and there's conversations and there's some ideas that you need to revoke and release from your mind. Get it right. And there's a few other tools that do it as well. That's going to remove whatever ain't supposed to be there, whatever ain't rooted, right? And that's good for the debris. But the things that are rooted, you got to go and get. The rake often doesn't remove the weeds. The weeds have taken root. And it might not even just be a weed. 
Matter of fact, let me give you this. Because bad seeds don't lead to good fruit, is anything that's grown in your life that wasn't planted with good seeds. You remove that shit. I don't care what I don't. We we mistake growth for progress sometimes, and just because something is growing does not mean that it's providing progress. So just because it's been X amount of time or X amount of years does not mean it's aligned with right now in the X amount of years you got ahead of you. 